hey, I think I sometimes go too far analyzing and strategizing. You know, my life in general, but also photography. And that I try to reason and justify each and every photo session and each and every photograph and, and analyze the composition and lightning and all that. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing unless it becomes a pluggage, like uh, an obstacle for taking photographs and then, then it grows bigger than photography and then that's not a good thing. So I thought I'll show you here two photo sessions that I just last week happened to me. And I, I think there was no planning and no thinking. I just executed it. And for a change, that was pretty liberating. So <laughs> the first one was, you know, you remember last time in my last video, my piano was open, you know, because I had the tuner just done his work and tuned the piano. It looked awesome. Because typically it's close like that. So I thought I'm going to take some pictures of it. And then just without further thinking about it, I thought I'm going to take uh, sheet film pictures, four times fives, so that I take each and every picture with a different camera. Because it's just the same piano, so I need to variate somehow four pictures. And why four? Because four sheet films fit into one single development tank. So as you can see, not a lot of planning, not a lot of good reasoning or analyzing. Just take four pictures with four different cameras of one open piano. First one I took with my Craflex RP Series B. And then the second one I took another Craflex, uh, my uh, Speed Graphics. But here, instead of using the regular Speed Graphics lens, I used the in larger condenser lens that I use quite a bit when taking pictures with this camera. Then the third one I took with my plywood camera. You know, a while ago I made this camera uh, from the parts that I found from the local hardware store. So it's made of plywood. Um, there are two magnifying glasses as a lens and some, some uh, baking paper as, as a viewfinder, crown glass and, and whatnot. Also this amazing shutter uh, that I used slightly differently this time, just in front of the lens. Because the exposure time was pretty long. And then talking about long exposure times, last but not least I took a picture with my pinhole camera. And here the exposure time was uh, almost, it was actually 40 minutes, so I took my dog out while this camera was busy taking the picture of my piano. <laughs> this is what happened. And then the very next day uh, I woke up, it was a Saturday, and there was a really nice foggy spring day. As a photographer, that rainy mix, that gloomy, at least for me, that's a heaven. Like that's when I take my best work. So I wanted to head out just with a minute's notice. I always have my camera back ready. So I made a video about this too. This is, has been a lifesaver. I always, in this bag, I have my Kiev um, set ready. So I 
Let me show you what I took with me. I took my... My Kiev. Um, Kiev 60. Uh, and the most of the pictures I took with this wide angle zodiac lens. And this is what happened. By the way, those pictures were taken on Kentmere 100 film and then the sheet films were taken on Fomapan 400 film and both developed in 150 mix of Rodinal. Uh, that's also a combination like those cheap films and Rodinal that makes film photography both affordable and fun because then you really don't need to think about that much wasting film. Hey, um, under that bridge, in that misty location, I also had one more camera with me because this bag takes, you know, a bunch of cameras and lenses. It's an awesome bag. So I had my Holoka panoramic camera with me. Here I had some Fomapan 100 film and I developed also in, in the same Rodinal. And these pictures also turn out pretty nice. Yeah, hey, uh, my point today was that uh, it is sometimes good to analyze and try to improve your photography through, you know, trying to understand, trying to plan, trying to, you know, do things in a careful, well-organized manner. But then sometimes it's better just to go and shoot. And at least for me, it doesn't necessarily show in the results. So when I'm trying to take really good pictures and I really put an effort into it, I get mediocre stuff. But then sometimes I just go and I'm relaxed and I'm just sort of like motivated by the moment. Then I get much more interesting pictures. So here's my conclusion. It's often more important to make photographs than trying to make good photographs. Um, quantity doesn't substitute quality, but quality requires quantity. So here we go again. I'm analyzing again and I promised I won't do it today. Sorry for that. Hey, thanks for watching. Next time something else. <laughs>